Dermot Brickman always with me here. Uh, comprehensive, Dermot, as opposed to the only way to describe that victory and performance. I uh, look at. We knew it was going to be a battle against Kilcarley, but it's a scary place when you haven't been there and done it, you know. And we kind of we kind of knew that two few years ago. It's, it is hard to break, you know, get over that line to yeah. get into the final. And we probably showed a bit of experience there today. You know, we we probably got stuck in the first half, and you know, made sure it was going to be a war out there. And uh, we're delighted to get back in the final. Yeah, experience, but big call to introduce a couple of the young boys there from the start. I mean, nobody expected that. <laughs> no, I don't think any of the starting players did either, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, Owen, Owen's a serious talent, like, and he came down on Tuesday night, and it was the first time he was kind of with us all year. He yeah. was in and out of the squad, obviously due to minor, kind of minor, and minor club football, and he did rattle two, or two, three goals in yeah. down the training on Tuesday night, and it's very hard to keep a player that's out in form, you know. And yeah. and Unan Doherty as well. Unan, I'm fair to Unan. He's in, he's in great shape, you know. He's you know he's the engine of our team, like, and uh, he's he's a massive, massive player for us, like. So and he done a great job today. Yeah, I think you got you got one four out of the opening one five. Always important when you feel the other team might be suffering a wee bit from theirs yeah. to get off to a good start to compound them theirs for them. That's it, like you know, as I said, like I know with us in two thousand and nine, and you know when you're trying to break into the finals, that you know it is a scary place, like and um, you know, thankfully we've been there and we've done it. You know, we have won you know the championship before, and that probably stood us as well today. You know, the car probably did have a few nerves. There was a lot of pressure on them during the week. You know, yeah. papers were building them up. Everyone was going for them, and that suited us down the ground, like you know. We're just delighted to be back there. You know, it was uh, seeing St. Unions get to the final this night. You know, we were we were just hoping that we would join them. And you know, on the biggest day, you know, yeah. club football in the That's going to be there. a cracker. I mean, they needed a goal early in the second half. They had one yeah. opportunity where there was a penalty appeal and it wasn't awarded. I mean, yeah. from where I was up in the gantry, it looked a stonewall pen yeah. penalty. There, I don't know how, how you saw it. No, it would be fair to Seamus. Um, Shim McGonagall was shouting, "You dived!" So. You know, he, he. You were happy enough to hear. Well, that. I was happy enough to hear. It, but going back to your point, you know, obviously them looking for a goal. Butcher probably, you know, got the dressing room calmed down a bit at the second half, and yeah. he said no goals and we're in the final. And to be fair to him, he was spot on there. Final against St. Unions. I mean, we'll talk more about it as the time comes. But it's yeah. uh, it's a mouth-watering prospect for for everybody in the county because. On the evidence of what we've seen now in the latter stage of the championship, two best teams in the county are in the final. A lot of history there between the clubs, Dermot. I definitely look at you know when you're going for championships, you know you want to be, be up against the best. And St. Unions are there, you know they're the best you know team in Donegal there this past few years, and they're always there thereabouts in finals, you know. And we're delighted to be paired against them now in the final, and we're going to look forward to that now in three weeks. Interesting. A lot of people were calling St. Michael's and Dilcar for the final, and. Uh, the two other teams have really turned that around, and as opposed to when it's put up to teams like Unions and yourself at Neath Connell, that's when you get the best out of you. That's it. I definitely, you know, you know, be fair. That dressing room in there today was rocking at the start of the, you know, the whole thing. You know, players were just had to get out in the field. You know, and you know, when there probably as questions asked you, you know, yeah. you know, you definitely don't bring out the best. And you know, like in fairness, like we, you know, at least we've won, you know, a title, you know, this last five years, like and. You know, no fault to St Michael's or you know Kilcarry. They haven't done it like, mm, and um, St Unions are there all the time. And to be fair, you know they, they were very clinic, uh, very clinical this night. Yeah. Well, listen, you know yourself. There's been a lot of questions asked about this Neve Connell yeah. side. People have said you have underachieved given the talent that you have. An opportunity now to put that to rights. That's it. They definitely look at us. You know, we have to be on the final to try and win them. And uh, for us, you know, looking at it now, we have to really focus now, nail down this next three weeks. You know, to work on St Unions. It's going to be, a, you know, it's going to be a lot different game than it was there a few weeks ago in the park. Like so, no, no, it's about rebuilding now and you know getting back into Glenties tonight and uh, getting the recovery. You know, for, for okay. three weeks. Great performance today, Dermot. Thanks, Thanks Charlie. Good Cheers. man. Thanks Bye. for watching.